to the winner's semifinal where Onga awaits. And it's so weird to say this, but Chers will be coming out of the elimination bracket. And got to think that he will be a, uh, a, a force to be reckoned with there. Uh, who from ROH? Ian Riccoboni. He is the lead play-by-play -play announcer there since uh, Kevin Kelly uh, left to work exclusively with New Japan. It's been Ian Riccoboni alongside Colt Cabana. He's working with Colt Cabana. I am so jealous. But anyway, folks, just an update on the bracket. Dimension and Burt Beans will be uh, facing off against each other. Burt Burnt Beans did beat Metal Reaper. My commentary partner, Burnt Beans. My goodness, beating Metal Reaper. But we're getting started here. Dimension and Burnt Beans playing on commentary right now. Playing, I'm on commentary right now. It's doing the announcer, but they're playing on stream right now. The winner of this will face the winner of Nino and Dawson. And wow, that's Dimension taking the first stock very, very quickly. There's Burnt Beans utilizing those chain grabs. As he really might have to dimension such a good uh dimension, such a versatile character, but he does like his aerials. Certainly frustrated uh easily playing Pilingual's Sheik. But uh he will have to take out his frustrations on another Sheik, I suppose. Could very well do so, but Burnt Bean's certainly not out of this yet. But it is Dimension right now showing why he is one of the best Smash players in uh, Philadelphia. At least in terms of melee, good tech. Oh, he recovers there. The fair does confirm the kill. Poor Burnt Beans, he takes, uh, takes his first stop off of Dimension, but, oh wow. Oh, and Dimension, oh wow. Boy's got a little flavor to his game, all right, all right. I see you, Dimension. He's taunted out of both of his kills now. Wow, and Burnt Beans, you saw he was trying to close that space, but Dimension just leading him along like a yo-yo on a string. And Burnt Beans saying, I want to control the pace of this match. Dimension saying, no, 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 young man. It's me who makes the rules. Dimension, uh, Burnt Beans is certainly going to have to be a little more careful with his approaches if he's going to be... Uh... Oh, wow, but the down smash confirming the kill. Really double taunt, Dimension. Double taunt. Is that the sort of example you want to set for these children, Dimension? Come on now. A double taunt. Really. There are, this is a family stream dimension. <laughs> he might lose the stock here, but he does recover. The up throw by, uh, by Mark, being played by Dimension once again. And eventually the up air does confirm the kill, but still has a quite the hill to climb does Burnt Beans if he wants to take this first game. Again, already at 47% the up throw. And that's the thing, you don't want to be directly above Marth, uh, Dimension's Marth. Not at all. And again, oh. Was looking for that uh, recovery was Burnt Beans, but again, right into the awaiting sword of Marth. Oh, the up B sends him off stage. Down attack. Not quite doing it, but again, the aerial doing the job for Dimension, and Burnt Beans will find himself down 1-0 in this quarterfinal matchup. And just an update on the bracket real quick. We found out who Unga's opponent is going to be, and it will be Cascade returning to the laboratory and establishing his dominance in winner's quarterfinal, beating Pilingual 2-0. Pied Lingual is down in loser's bracket. So we've seen Chers and Pied Lingual drop the loser's bracket this early. That is amazing. And Burnt Beans, well, he'll have some work to do if he wants to make another upset happen. He did beat Metal Reaper 2-1. to one. We've seen Metal Reaper make deep runs in this tournament before. Down throws, but Burnt Beans knows exactly where he wants to go, and it certainly... 
is not directly above Sword of Mark. Good recovery there by, uh, by Dimension. And the back throw. Oh, he calculated that perfectly. Excellently done with the up B. And the down throw into the fair. I mean, how many times have we seen a Sheik kill with that and certainly off of the fair? Over and out has a slight stock advantage, but the up B will confirm, and all of a sudden, it is erased. And Burnt Beans knows he has to be careful. You see, you see how much di you see how much distance he's putting between uh, between he and Dimension when he can help it. That's why you see uh, Dimension on the edge of this uh, in the middle so much. But again, with the up B, could it con could it confirm the kill again? Oh, and the taunt! My goodness, Dimension. Yeah, we certainly thank you for rocking with us here, at Salt 142. Let's do the announcer with you on the mic. But this is Dimension and Burnt Beans on the screen. Oh. Roll right into the grab and again, just hitting them with the neutral arrows, just peppering them with that damage. The up tilts, uh, the up tilts is chic. Not getting the kill, but you need to get as much you need to get as much damage on Dimension as you possibly can because my goodness. For as good as his offensive game is, his defense, his recovery might just be better. We've seen him come back from some impossible situations. Getting to getting to grand finals past four salts. Could be the past five, actually. I'll do my research here real quick. But it's burnt. Oh, wow. Beautiful recovery into the bear. And he will get the stock off of that. He could very well have uh, he could very well have died off of that, but catches the bear. And he does eventually confirm the kill. But he is at 170% damage, could die very, very quickly if he's not careful. One grab could very well do it. Oh, there it is. Carries on the damage and the down tilt. Oh, he was looking for that forward smash. But he does confirm with the fair. And all of a sudden, it is Burnt Beans down to his last stock of his winner's quarterfinals life. Unless he's careful here. But again, Dimension from pillar to post has been dictating the pace of this match. And it's easy to do when you have a sword. What can you say? This toy just a little, a uh, little too much for Burnt Beans to handle. We've seen Dimension. Lose the Pilingual Sheik. We saw him do that uh, four weeks ago at Salt 138, I believe it was. Oh my goodness. And he finishes with the taunt too. Started with it, ended with it. My goodness, Dimension, you are broken. And you are also in the winner's semi-final. So the winner's semi-final is set. It will be Dimension, who... It was Nino beating Dawson 2-0 in the other uh, in the other winner's uh, quarterfinal. It was a 2-0, 2-0 victory for Nino, and he will be facing Dimension, as we just saw, in the winner's semis. Also in the winner's semis, Unga will be facing Cascade. Cascade coming back for the first time since his victory at uh, Salt 137.